I gotta be honest, folks. With no official 2023 roadmap for Don't Starve Together in hand, and more news for Solo Don't Starve for Pete's sake, I'm getting a bit Etsy over here. I mean, this game is my job after all. But something tells me the wait is almost over. I can feel it in my bones that Clay is about to wrap up their 2022 roadmap with not only a Wilson rework on the horizon, but also information on the next content arc that we can look forward to. But hold your flippin' horse beard I hear some of you saying the heck you want about about a Wilson rework well it's pretty simple actually I'm just blabbering and speculating on the very context clues that Clay themselves have given us and not only last year's roadmap but the very first roadmap that Don't Stop Together ever got way back in 2019 and in case you're still calling my bluff the last three years of these character refreshes that we have grown to enjoy all come down to these three sentences right here. They wanted to give every character revamped abilities and a glimpse into their backstories. Key words being every character. So if we can take those words at face value and not anticipate Clay pulling a fast one on us, which is still entirely possible, mind, and combine it with the fact that we've had all of these character refreshes over the last three years, we can see that we're missing one. And Clay themselves have told us just that. They specifically told us that they were expecting four character refreshes ending in quarter one of 2023. And hot damn, that's where we are right now. And the very last character that can be refreshed if they're not going to revisit Winona or something is our boy Wilson. So there you go. That is the foundation of this video, everyone. And I'll admit myself that that was just a lot of words to help justify me sitting my butt down today to spew a lot of nonsense and crap about Wilson just to get people talking about and hyped for a potential Wilson rework. But I will say this. I did go digging a little extra to see what the community was going to be thinking about a potential Wilson rework. But to my dismay, there is a surprising lack of Wilson love on the workshop. At least on the Don't Starve Together side of things, that is. However, that is not to say that we still can't compile a hodgepodge of Wilson perks out there to give us a significant pool of perks to talk about. Take, for example, the most recent Wilson mod I can find by ZV and its ideas behind Wilson not being a big fan of magic. He will lose sanity near magic stations, but gain it near scientific stations. Not a bad start. And while there is certainly more to discuss with all of these mods, it's no surprise that we're going to see a lot of overlap here today. So in an effort to cover all of our bases, I'm going to jump from mod to mod here. Take, for example, Albert Camillus's mod that really touches on Wilson's beard. He will not only get more insulation from his beard to help separate him from the rest of the team come winter, his beard is going to drop more beard hair. We then got Dream State taking the whole scientist thing, maybe a step further by giving him the ability to craft gears with electrical doodads, stingers, boards, cutstones, you name it. The point being, maybe you should have more perks like that. Dive S here takes it well beyond that though, both in name and perks by having Wilson know a bit more science recipes straight from the get-go, being able to read scientific novels, so on and so forth. But after all that, we still absolutely have a mass of people on one side of this argument saying that Wilson really shouldn't get anything. So maybe just a stat increase, just like Idol here decided to do. Or you just say screw it and go all out and do something like this. Shadow Wilson by code. To be fair, the guy did sit the Nightmare Throne for a bit. Regardless of how you feel about a Wilson refresh update, everyone, the possibilities are there. But I suppose you might be asking one other question. What do I, Beard, believe they're going to do with the Wilson rework? I truly don't know, and if I'm completely transparent, I'm not even sure I care. I'm just more here for the lore implications of his animation. Because while it is true that people can say he's the first default character, you can't do anything to him, nah, I think you gotta separate those things. He's not really the default character anymore, he's still just the first character we ever saw. And with him being the first character we ever see, ever get to play, and ever get to experience the constant with... Yes, the animation is probably going to be pretty game-changing in the theory realm. But before I truly do give my own thoughts on a Wilson refresh, as I'm not going to lowball you like that, let's talk the other side of all this nonsense. His 
defaultness. This isn't 2013 anymore. Hell, it's not even 2016. And then if we follow the lore progression of the game, even the gameplay progression of the game, with them getting stronger and stronger with their experiences in the constant, being exposed to the moon, yada, 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 it only makes sense that Wilson is going to get something. Is it going to be big? No, of course not. That's not what we're saying. But the guy is going to change. And once again, I want to remind everybody, he also sat the Nightmare Throne. So yeah, there is a side of me that's saying like, maybe Wilson should kind of have a Shadow Wilson side. Maybe not exactly Shadow Wilson, but you get what I'm saying, I hope. And I believe one of the biggest arguments against those saying he's default, he's default, he's default, is this. How many characters in this game do you, as the player, have to choose to use their optional perks? There's more than you think. And heck, as I'm sitting here now thinking about it so I can tell you, I've thought of more examples than I already did. But the biggest two to me, Wiggabottom, Winona. Even after their refreshes, for Pete's sake. The only perk that's going to get in the way for playing work about them is their sleep. And even then, not a lot of people do it in the first place. And then number two, Winona is just, let's just say, Winona. <laughs> You know, great rework, very powerful, but literally pointless. You don't have to do anything. But then if you think about it, you can run around as Woody until you yourself choose to be accursed or you wait till a full moon, right? Same thing. Run around as Weber, not doing any spider things for a while. You're practically just Wilson. Hell, you even grow a beard. You can run around as WX, not do any circuits. You can run around as Walter and not use any slingshots. Besides, the slingshot sucks. So well, yeah, Walter's kind of basic there unless you get hit. I mean... The, the default argument doesn't exist in my mind anymore. It just doesn't. Does Wilson have the least amount of perks and the most basic ones? Yeah, I guess. But he still has perks. <laughs> like, he still has a beard that is significant enough to matter. Like, it leads to things that actually impact gameplay quite significantly with revival mechanics and all that. So... No, I, I don't believe he is default. I, I don't think people can convince me otherwise either. You put the two sides that we talked about together and the guy is just primed for a refresh, everyone. And is it going to be big? No, it's not going to be big. It's not going to be big at all. That's not what we're asking for. But their words and our words combined, Wilson is getting a rework. And it might even be coming this Thursday. But oh yeah, I was going to tell you what I felt about the Wilson rework, or what I want out of it at least. I want them to have fun with the failed scientist side of things. Because, let's face it, that's always what he's been to us. I know he's been to the constant a long time, so obviously his knowledge has grown. But I think if they had fun with, like, literal failed experiments, like things that blow up, things that change mobs to certain things, and go crazy like that, I think it'd be pretty fun. I really do enjoy the not liking magic side of things, especially because he's sat the Nightmare Throne and probably saw some things they didn't want to see. So things related to his sanity dropping, be it with nightmares and dark magic, I can get behind. I do believe the beard and the resulting beard hair can definitely be in need of a buff because people are right. You can kind of just counter winner with a hat, so what's the beard for? And beard hair really only goes into revival mechanics, so maybe expand on a little bit. Give us something. Even if it's just like beard hair rug like you got from Shipwrecked and Solo Don't Starve. And lastly, and definitely most importantly, I cannot wait to see this lore animation. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely magical. Massive, and it's probably going to be like up to date. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm most excited for. It's going to be probably the most recent we see our survivors together. And what's Wilson going to be doing, tinkering with, talking to? I don't know, man. But Maxwell's probably going to be highly prevalent. He might get a talking from Charlie because, again, his connection with Charlie, Maxwell, the constant, and the Nightmare Throne. It's all there, man. It's all there. But folks, to give you a little glimpse in the background of making videos, especially videos that have no script like this one, uh, I've been recording for an hour. <laughs> I think I'm done talking about Wilson until we can talk about Wilson again in a couple days. My guess, Roadmap Wilson this Thursday. Let's see what happens. Am I right? Thanks for watching, folks. Please give all your speculative ideas down below in the comments. Let's talk and let's get hype for the last refresh ever, which is crazy to say, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.